Hello and welcome back, Scorpio. If you're new, welcome in. Thank you for tuning in. This is going to be a collective general reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be in love. This reading may or may not resonate with you. If it does not resonate, you can check out your other sign. We're going to dive in with the Romance Oracle Scorpio, and we're going to get some advice for Scorpio in love from August 15th through the 31st. For Scorpio in love, what is the advice? Engagement, Scorpio. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So it looks like, Scorpio, you are ready to make a decision for something that's very stable, okay? You're coming from a place here where I feel that you and this person, okay, that you're getting ready to engage with, let's see, okay, this is a commitment, this is something that could be like, I feel taking it to the next level, okay, there's a graduation, but there's codependency here, okay, so addictions are affecting your romantic life. With codependency, this can be someone here that you feel limited by. There could be a sense of, there was a sense of deception or self-sabotaging, a connection here. And it feels like the both of you want to rekindle a connection. Let's see, let's get one more. And pay attention to the red flag. The signs are cautioning you. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have express your love, Scorpio. So here's what I'm feeling. I feel there is a level of codependency. There could be a Capricorn energy that you have in your chart or someone that you're dealing with, okay? It feels like true emotions have not been expressed. There's not enough communication, okay? There's, there's a feeling here of trusting in your intuition here about a situation, okay? Whatever this is, the signs are cautioning you to make sure that you use a healthy line of communication to express the love that you have for this person, okay? But it seems to be that there could be addictions here, okay, with someone that you're involved with, Scorpio, okay? Or this could be on your end, so... Let's see what this is. This could be overthinking too much, okay, with the addictions. This could be a, a sense of materialism or feeling restrained or stuck for a situation in love. Let's go ahead and get the tarot cards out. And I pre-shuffled, so this is for Scorpio in love from August 15th through the 31st. We're going to do a revelation tarot spread and then we're going to clarify there we go. King of Pentacle popped out. That's your overall energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn can be in your chart or this is who you're dealing with. The King of Pentacles is someone who is making some a very stable offer, okay? Wanting to present something where I feel that you're ready to get the job done, okay? It feels like you're ready for long-term commitment, it feels like you're somebody here who's in a position here to make an offer, to stick through, okay, a situation and not take a risk. So let's see what's in the past for Scorpio. In the past, Queen and King of Pentacles. Look, looky, looky. So yes, the both of you, I feel, could be in a marriage, in a living connection, or like I feel, there is a level of commitment here. The both of you share. The both of you are equals. The both of you are a power couple here. We have queen to the king. Right now, your person, I feel, is turning away from you, okay? They're focused, I feel, on their self right now. They're focused and committed to their work. Whatever it is, the both of you are very committed, okay? The both of you are very practical, but there is a level of security here, okay? Six of Pentacles is here. It's, Can we compromise? in this connection okay it feels like you are committed to this person okay it feels like the both of you could be in a position of marriage or you're getting ready like i felt the both of you could be um what am i like i'm feeling brain fog here the both of you could have been engaged okay 
This could be someone, Scorpio, that you are engaged to, all right? With the Six of Pentacles, it's all about what's tangible in your connection right now, okay? Six of Pentacles is bringing balance back to this connection with the both of you. It feels like right now, your backs are turned to one another. So let's see, okay, Scorpio, what's coming in the near future? What's coming in the near future that Scorpio cannot see right now? Scorpio, there's the page of wands. You're looking to a new beginning, Scorpio. There's something here about this page of wands, what's coming in that you're about to discover, okay? It feels like you're very outspoken about this. You're very um, passionate about this. It's a new beginning, okay? It feels like this could be someone new also, right? Tower moment. So it feels like right now, Scorpio, you are going through a tower moment. It feels like there's definitely a home that could be broken here, right? There could be a situation of experiencing an ending or a breakup in a connection that you were in here. I felt Mars and Scorpio energy here. Things were not balanced. Things are not built uh, in a situation where there's compromising taking place. I felt with your head turned this way, you're looking towards this new passionate beginning here. It feels like whatever this is here, this could be someone younger than you that's coming in. It also feels like you're headed in a new direction, okay? Tower moment that's bringing in a major change that's here, right? Boom, major changes. So let's see what the challenge could be, Scorpio. Let's see what the challenge could be for Scorpio. What is the challenge? The Knight of Pentacles is the challenge. More coins, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy here. Feeling very stuck in a connection. Feeling bored. Feeling in a situation that you just don't want to invest in for the long term anymore. I feel things have been going very slow, right? This is someone that you made a genuine offer to. Someone here that I feel, it's like very slow moving right now. Things are not moving forward right now is what I feel. Things can be at a standstill, right? After this tower moment that you experience, right? Patience. You're trying to gain your patience. You're trying to gain your balance after this tower moment, Scorpio, is what I feel. Sagittarius energy, okay? You're trying not to go to extremes in this relationship. So the advice for you, Scorpio, what's the advice for Scorpio? Four of Wands, there it is. Engagement, making something concrete. Four of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sag. It's also the 1111. You could be seeing this number 1111. Whatever breakdown that you had or transition and disconnection, your advice is to come back into harmony here, okay? So bringing something into form in the physical world, something tangible here, right? And there's the chariot, getting ready to move forward, okay? Are we Scorpio? Cancerian energy, knowing the direction to go to, okay? This could be getting a new car. This could be acceleration, movement, okay? Movement to move you forward, right? In the direction that you're headed to. And the advice is the four of wands is, to engage, right? To trust your intuition here, to trust the red flags that there's something here, Scorpio, that you need to move forward on, right? It's definitely something concrete, laying the concrete down to a very stable connection. This is a home situation with the Four of Wands, a celebration, an engagement, a marriage, a partnership. What is the outcome for Scorpio? The Emperor, Aries energy. Okay, we have Mars and ener Mars energy here. Taking action, taking control of the situation, okay? The Emperor can be a father figure. This could be like, I feel the energy of creating a very solid foundation here. Um, growth is here with Mars. And there's the Four of Coins. This could be Taurus that you're dealing with or you have Taurus in your chart. Four of Pentacles is resistance. There is resistance here. There's a feeling of stubborn energy here. There's also a feeling, this is my miser card. Somebody here is holding on very tightly, not letting go. Somebody here is uh, creating resistance or somebody, like I feel, Four of Pentacles. 
There's resistance and holding back. Five of Wands is a very, I mean, I'm sorry, Five of Swords is an ego clash with the Nine of Coins here. Now we have a single Empress energy. This is Venus and Taurus, right? Nine of Coins is someone who's very single. Someone here, Nine of Coins, who takes care of herself, very sufficient. It's my single lady card. This is someone who's very successful. Someone that's holding back, right? It also feels like there's conflict between you and this person. Someone's feeling very breadcrumbed in a situation, Scorpio. Six of coins, okay? This is someone who hmm, feels there's no compromise in a connection, okay? Somebody here that's feeling that things were very unequal in a connection, one-sided. With this five of swords, it feels like someone got fed up. They walked away. Okay, they're holding back, they're blocking their emotions, they're blocking their heart. It feels like there was a betrayal here, Scorpio, okay? And it feels like someone got sick of being felt like a doormat. The Queen of Cups is right underneath this. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So we have two queens and we have a single lady here, okay? Okay, Scorpio, let's go ahead and get the clarifiers and let's see what is going on here. This reading is to clarify this King of Pentacles. We're going to clarify the reading for Scorpio. Whoopsie daisies. There's the chariot. So the chariot is about you, Scorpio, overcoming the obstacles and disconnection. Okay. It feels like you're very driven. Okay. You're very driven. You, you put the hard work in here. You're determined for this new beginning. The Four of Swords is here. It's like. The Four of Swords is recuperating from wherever you felt overwhelmed, okay? Wherever you've been doing this introspection right now. And the King of Cups is here also. Balancing your emotions, okay? Balancing in the physical world and in your emotions here. There's a lot of passion. I'm picking up the energy of a very strong father figure. Okay, I'm also feeling a lot of diplomatic energy here. It feels like you're very devoted, but there could be this feeling of very nonchalant right now. Okay, too many cards, but the Six of Wands fell out, the Strength card fell out, and the Page of Cups here. So whatever it is, there is a lot of praise, a lot of success that you're, you're, you're being led towards here. It's also with the strength card is mind over matter right now. Having the, the, the courage to make a fearless move, right? The page of cups is a feeling of an offer of love, right? Lighthearted energy. Page of cups is, could be someone younger than you. It could also be, uh, it could be a child that you have here. It also feels like there's a gentle approach here that's coming in. And a star card, a book full of hope, right? So there's hope that you're finding in a situation is what I feel to achieve something here. The star card is Aquarius. It also is a feeling here of contentment. Um, whatever dreams that you have now, you want to head towards the fulfillment of your dreams is what I'm feeling here. So there is hope in reconciling a situation here is what I feel. And with the strength card, Leo energy is trying to overcome something here, but being very patient, right? And having the compassion to push forward. Let's see what this queen of coins is for Scorpio in the past. Queen of coins for Scorpio in the past. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy here. Earth energy. Yeah, King of Swords in the past. Okay. Very analytical, very logical decision here with the King of Swords. Okay. And the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups wanted to show herself. And the Fool card. Aries energy or Aquarius. This is Uranus. Something very spontaneous happened in the past here, right? And uh, the Six of Swords is at the bottom of the deck here. So you move forward here, okay? This could be either you or your person. Someone could have relocated. Someone could have moved away. There was something that was regretful but necessary. 
It feels like Scorpio, somebody here rushed in in the past here. They made a very spontaneous decision here. This Queen of Cups is somebody who I feel, for some of you here, there was a lot of love here. This Queen of Cups is somebody who's very family-oriented, very loving, very nurturing. This could be like, I feel, a very compassionate offer that was made here in the past. With the King of Swords here, there could have been this sense of detached from this person or making a very analytical choice, right? Something that was very risky, right? Risk-taking. So it feels like it feels like there was a there was a sense of taking a risk in the past, blind faith that this person took a chance on you, right? Or you took this chance. But with the King of Swords, it was very cold, right? The truth was the truth was very hurtful, is what I'm feeling. In the past, someone could have been very ruthless, and they cut something out here, okay? So definitely there was a cut here with the Six of Swords. Cutting away, detaching from somebody here. And like I feel, this was somebody who wanted commitment. Somebody who wanted something very, like, they were very sensitive. Somebody that wanted long-term stability here with you, okay, Scorpio? And it feels like there was a cut, a detaching of, of this connection and moving forward, moving on. So let's see what the Page of Wands is for Scorpio. There could be somebody that you're meeting here that's new Scorpio. Page of Wands could be a younger fire sign, very attractive, very outgoing, right? There's something here that you're about to get a message about, a discovery, a message from somebody that I feel is coming in to communicate. It's a very sexy message, very passionate. The Hierophant, Venus and Taurus, yeah. This is somebody who has, like I feel, somebody could be reaching out to you. This is somebody that, that has strong beliefs in marriage and commitment. This is someone who wants something very stable. This could be someone that you're married to, because I do see the marriage with the queen and king. You have a lot of values here. There's family values here. The world card. Yeah. There is a completion. You are graduating. There's a completion of a cycle here with someone you were married to. Okay. It's the end of a cycle. This is closure. If you were dealing with somebody here who has fire in their sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, could be Venus and Taurus, could be Leo, Aquarius, there is an ending here. There's an end of a cycle. For some of you, it's a graduation. It's moving to the next level, okay? And then let me get one more card. With the world and the Hierophant, these are two major arcana. And the hangman, three major arcana. Yeah, you're definitely coming out of this energy of limbo, okay? You're letting go, is what I see. There's a lot of self-improvement here. Wherever you were uncertain, there is a certainty that's coming that you're gaining freedom from. If you were dealing with a Pisces here, there's a sense... We have Pisces, we have Taurus here, okay? We have Leo, Aquarius with the world card. You're coming full circle now. This is letting me know that point blank, it's a whole new world that's opening up for you. A whole new world. This is a significant time, like I feel, for online achievements, accomplishments. Um, like I feel, it's something here about you Ending a marriage or a commitment, right? And the Ace of Wands. Yep, you have a new person. Somebody here that's definitely very, like I feel, passionate, that you're passionate towards. You're discovering a new beginning, Ace of Wands. It's got potential. It's very sexy. It's, it's very uh, passionate. It's a new beginning that you're moving towards, okay? So Scorpio, let's see why the Knight of Coins is in this position of taking your time, moving very slow, okay? There's someone here that you are feeling very stuck with, okay? 
Knight of Coins, please clarify. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. Your lack of long term with this person here, you, you're not seeing it. It's like there's a there's no reward here or no success that that you're feeling in a connection. And now we have the Empress and the Magician. Yeah, heavy Venus and Taurus. So in the position of what the challenge is, there's a creative block here, okay? There is a block with the Four of Pentacles. There is resistance. With the Magician also being here, this is Gemini energy or <clears throat> Virgo. You could have a Cusper, Taurus, Gemini, okay? Very Venusian energy here. And there's the King of Pentacles, okay? You were somebody that was committed here, okay, in a connection. This is the baby mama, the empress. This is somebody who could be pregnant, someone who is very fertile. It feels like there is a block here in this connection from coming from this person, okay? It feels like there's codependency. Someone could be very dependent on, on you, right? Very dependent on you. So they have this desire or I felt there was money involved. There was definitely, could be a home situation that's involved here. But there's a lack of vision. There's a lack also of creativity in this connection, okay? There's a lack of stability here. There's somebody here that you're just, you're, you're not feeling abundant with. The magician card is an energy of feeling manipulated here. Feeling like there's definitely poor planning that's been taking place here, okay? This is someone here that you just don't value their time or their energy. It feels like there's definitely a partnership, a marriage, or a commitment that you were in that you're breaking up from, right? King of Pentacles, this could be someone that you have children from, a wife. That's here. Now we have the Empress and the Emperor here on the table, right? So let's see what the Four of Wands is. What's the Four of Wands, the advice from the Holy Spirit for Scorpio? The Sun card, something very positive with the Sun card. It's the highest card in the Tarot deck. The Three of Wands. Scorpio, dreams come true. Dreams do come true. You have happiness. You have your confidence is paying off here. Your hard work pays off. A lot of hard work that's coming into this. You're about to see a big payoff. There's a sense of you moving forward. A sense of enlightenment that's coming in with this four of wands. This is what you've been waiting for. Yeah. You've been patiently waiting, Scorpio, for something like this. The Four of Wands is a celebration. It could be a new home. It could be a sacred union. This is a very sacred union with the cards that I have on my table. And the Ace of Cups. Absolutely. Your dreams are coming true. There is new love that's here. There's a feeling here of you have pure intentions with the Ace of Cups that are coming in. A blessing of love and joy. For some of you, this Ace of Cups could be conception. Someone here could be fertile. Someone could be getting pregnant here. Okay. There could be, like I feel, a child. And the Eight of Cups is at the bottom of the deck here. You are walking away from a situation. I feel that you're ending a situation, Scorpio. I feel that something you were very optimistic about, but the truth is coming in. This could involve travel, okay? There was a sense of you reaching the limit, right? With this partnership or reaching the limit here in the past. And wherever you are now, okay, with this King of Cups that's here, you're getting ready to open up your heart here. You're getting ready here to offer somebody here love. Okay, whether you're a man or a woman, you're getting ready to take action is what I feel on it. You have a brand new beginning that's starting in love, Scorpio, with the Ace of Cups. The Emperor, let's clarify the Emperor. The Emperor. Taking action, taking control of the situation. 
with the Emperor. That's Mars energy. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. This could be for some of you a reunion. For some of you, this is a marriage, a contract. Yes, you are the Emperor clarifying the Emperor. Wow. Aries energy. You're creating a structure, Scorpio. Okay. From a very wise, mature place here. You're offering this Ten of Cups. It's coming to you. Okay. This is going to be a family situation. This could be a gathering. The Ten of Cups is security. It's harmony. It's definitely an ending here of your dreams are coming true here. Ten of Cups is a situation here with the Emperor that you're creating, right? And I feel that you're definitely somebody here that's getting ready to take action on this. You see someone here for the long term, right? The Ten of Cups. The ultimate life, okay? Happy, coming into alignment with a partnership, a marriage. One more card. And Seven of Wands. You have a very strong will with the double emperor here, okay? It feels like you could be feeling very protective right now or feeling defensive about the decision that you're you're around. This could be like the energy that's around you, seven of wands. Someone here is feeling under attack. Someone here is feeling like they need to stand your ground against you, right? Someone could feel that you're very controlling or you're feeling this. You're feeling that someone's very controlling with all this codependency and the devil, okay? Capricorn energy. There is somebody here that could have addictions, okay? There's someone here that could have toxic behaviors. There could be, like I feel, a lot of manipulation that was taking place in the past here is what I'm feeling. And this could be someone that's still in your energy, Somebody here that's creating a lot of resistance. They have a very strong will. There's definitely a power control struggle here. Both of you could be coming up as the emperor. Someone's marrying you. There could be an ego clash. There could be a sense of uh, somebody here that has a very strong desire for you. Very possessive. Very obsessed over you. There is an obsession here. It feels like a huge power play. Okay. And with the devil energy, Capricorn energy, okay, and the six of swords and the hermit. Yeah. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or Virgo energy. Someone here has just been holding back. Someone could have been giving you the silent treatment here. Six of swords is, is a feeling here of trying to overcome these uh, obstacles, okay? Trying to to move to calmer waters with this person, okay? Trying to recover a situation. It feels like right now, Scorpio, the energy is coming off as you could be being alone right now. Uh, you could be receiving inner guidance, but it feels like you're soul searching. You're really thinking about this. And it feels like there is peace after the storm that's coming in. After going through this temptation or this this feeling of whatever the devil energy was creating, right? This obsessive energy. There will be peace after a storm here. And a hermit card is making a very wise decision here. There's a lot of self-care. There's also a sense of introspection and soul searching here that's taking place. So I do feel that you're at the two of wands here that's coming in. This could mean leaving your comfort zone, right? This could mean the options that you have, the waiting, making progress here, okay? I feel there's two paths or options to choose from here, and I feel that you are making a choice here. Wherever this choice is that you're making is going to lead to the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is headed towards success, towards victory here. There's a sense of gaining public recognition here, okay? And the Knight of Cups is here. There is a feeling here of a lot of love, romance is on its way here. Moving towards something that truly is romantic to you. And the both of you are marrying one another. 
So let's clarify the emperor. Let's see what the emperor is. I feel you're, you are going, you are expressing your love to this person. Okay, and page of swords. Yeah, the emperor can be someone who's spying on you. Okay, page of swords. This could be someone who's very curious about you. Another card for the emperor. A lot of masculine energy. And the death card, Pluto, Scorpio. So it's life-changing events that are taking place here. Endings and new beginnings. Transformation is here. You have somebody here that I feel, okay, is standing their ground with you. Somebody definitely, this could be you feeling that you're under attack or that you need to protect yourself from this person. Someone here can be very clever that you're dealing with, Scorpio, right? And Page of Pentacles. This person could be younger than you. There could be, like I feel, money changes that are taking place. There could also be, like I feel, somebody here with this energy that's coming towards you, that's mirroring you, okay? There's a huge transformation that's taking place with this ending. But this person has very high prospects, okay? There's many changes that this person is going through right now. With the death and rebirth, they're going through a transformation and they're coming up with two pages, okay? So they have, they could be the one or you can be the one that has two paths to choose from here. This could be somebody here, like I feel, that has hope with the star card, okay? They could have Aquarius in their chart here. They're having hope for a reconciling with you. This is somebody who I feel is codependency, someone who cannot let go. Someone that's having a hard time of letting go, okay? They're coming in with communication. It could be a message, communication, right? Page of Pentacles, an apology that could be coming in. But there could, this is someone who's been creating resistance and disconnection. I feel they're on and off is what I'm feeling here. Hot and cold. Okay, I feel there's a level of immaturity here. I feel that there's, there's a level here also of this person's energy, okay? Stocking uh, their energy. Very witty, very gossipy, but could be very rebellious. With the seven of wands, you having to take the higher road from this person. You standing your ground, okay? There's definitely conflict here between you and this person. So, what's the ten of cups for Scorpio? Three of swords. This person doesn't want to see you happy. This is someone who does not want to see you happy, Scorpio. There's an exit that you're making here to get to the Ten of Cups here. You're moving like I feel towards. You're ending a cycle here with someone here that there was a power play. There was a lot of sadness here that's coming in. There's a lot of grief that's here. But I feel the Ten of Cups is you're moving into happiness. You're moving in, into coming into alignment with harmony. The Ace of Swords is here, okay? This is the communication. This is the Ace of Swords where you get your crown back on. There's a crowning. There's a new beginning. The truth is coming out. I feel mental clarity and it brings in a certain level of a breakthrough. So like I feel, you're moving from the sadness. If you were going through any upheaval, you're about to have this harmony with blessings coming in. Dreams do come true. This Ace of Swords is going to be the sword here like I feel. To bring in mental clarity and a breakthrough. You have a breakthrough coming in, Scorpio. It's what I feel, okay? So we're going to go ahead and leave the reading there, Scorpio. I thank you. If this reading did help you, I definitely appreciate your likes and your comments and your shares. We will see you soon. Be blessed.